fabulous people in this video i'm going to be doing a flipping furniture video so i'm getting an old piece of furniture and making it into something new in this video i'm going to be using a shelf and i'm going to make it into a rustic effect to go with the new interior design so that when you're doing up a new room and doing new decor it fits the brief better so instead of going out and buying a new piece of a new shelf for example i am using the old shelf and making it link better to the decor so I'm putting loads of different blues onto it, a bit of silver and rubbing it down as well for a rustic look so the wood shine like comes through as well and I'll take you on the journey as we're going along and talk you through how I make the shelf. Hope you enjoy the video and come on my journey. All the paints and equipment like paint brushes and stuff I already had so I didn't have to go out and buy anything so it's cost effective. So this is how the shelf started off, you can see it's a bit worn and it just needs a new lease of life. And instead of throwing it away I thought I'd revamp it and I'll show you how I do this. It's a plain wooden shelf with some varnish on it. So first of all I paint a base coat of duck egg blue, I think this colour is at the top of my head, I can't completely remember now. So I give it a complete base coat of this colour just to give it something to work with underneath before I start putting on top as you can see I do the top of the shelf as well with my big edge in the way um, and then I add a bit of light blue and add that into it because I'm trying to layer up each layer of paint so it's all different blues that goes with the hallway and it's just giving it texture because later on I'm going to scratch into it and use sandpaper to take off the textures underneath so I wanted to use lots of different blues as you can see so with this one like I said I'm putting in light blue adding that to different texture I wanted some of the wood still to come through slightly because I was trying to work out how much wood I wanted to show through as you can see here I'm adding more different tones of blue so I've got some more darker blues that I added as well So I'm roughly putting this on everywhere, just building up the texture and letting it dry and then building up some more texture on top. This paint dries really quickly anyway. Um, just using a bit of my hands there in order to rub it in like you do. So yeah, just adding more and more of paint on top, added a bit more of that paint to it and I was trying to fill in the areas that I missed. This is just to show you how it is so far. Then I used some sandpaper and sanded down the areas that I thought would look cool. And then added some more silver to the design because I realised the wallpaper had a bit of silver in it. So I thought this would be really cool to add some silver to the shelf. Then adding some more blue again. Just keep layering upon layer basically. This is how it works. To give the whole like rustic effect. So like dabbing it and putting a bit more darker blue onto there as well because I felt like it needed some more. It looked a bit too much like it was clouds so I needed to add a bit more blue to give a better effect. And I keep dabbing the areas what I feel need a bit more. Then I added a lot more darker blue to it because I felt it needed it on the certain areas like the corners and on top and when I got to this stage I thought it looked a bit like how Vincent van Gogh paintings are it reminds me of it very like that then I gave it some varnish this is the varnish I use for my canvases as well and this is the final thing of what it looks like and I sandpapered some areas down as well and this is the complete final thing of it up on the hallway to give you some closer details of how it looked. I didn't show the woodwork through as much as I thought I was going to but I felt like it didn't need to and it's got like scratchy effects on it as well and this is with its fabulous mirror but I did another video as well. Do let me know in the comment box if you love this project and if there's any other styles that I could try going further and what would you do differently or you just think it's fabulous the way it is and see you guys later. Keep crafty and creative and keep flipping your furniture.